Hey guys. Okay, I am hoping this is working. You should see what I have going on set up over here. I'm using my new technology <laughs> and it is ridiculous. There is too much. This is very complicated, but I'm going to I am going to use it and I am going to get good at it. So today, let's see how this goes. When you guys get on, tell me that you can hear me. That you can see me. All right, Michelle, Gina, how does this sound? Is the sound okay? I have invested in this fancy technology, this software, where you can switch screens. Okay, Lynn says it looks brand new. Yeah, you're getting kind of a different view, right? That's where I sit. That's like where I do my computer work. There's all my stuff over there. Usually you guys are seeing that corner over there. Okay, good, Gina, I sound good. Okay, you can see in here, okay. I am super nervous. It's like my first Facebook Live ever. <laughs> this is overwhelming. I am not a uh, media professional, and this is like full-blown media technology. So so here, look, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna be able to switch you down to be able to see, and then I'm gonna put my face up in the corner in a minute, hopefully. Now on my iPad, it looks really glitchy. Hopefully it's not glitchy to you guys because that's the one thing I was a little bit concerned about. Ooh, and the light's real bright. I need to scoop back. You guys are my guinea pigs today. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me. New software, new cameras, new lighting, new Facebook Live. Okay, so everybody, I need you to have a little grace with me today and a little patience because it's going to be weird. I'm not sure. Nina says the picture's not as sharp. I agree, Nina. I don't like that either. It's, it's like going in and out. So we'll have to see. We're going to go with it today. Um, hopefully when I upload, that will um, clear up. But I don't like that. I know I can see it on my end too. So I will ask my, my friend Angie McKay. She's my, <laughs> she's my mentor. She has been using the software for a while. So I'll ask her about that. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get started. You like my shirt, Nancy? Can you see it? Stamping up. Got a new shirt. Um... Okay, yeah, Teresa says a little glitchy. Okay, well, we're gonna go in, we're gonna, we're gonna attempt, we're gonna attempt, okay? So now I'm seeing over here something weird. So let's see, we need to make that go away. Let's see. Okay, go away, we don't want you, hold on. There we go, okay, that's gone. That was weird, I don't know where that camera is pointing at. <laughs> Okay, we're going to go with it. I'm going to set this down, and we are going to, fingers crossed, hope for the best, okay? Because I've got three projects for you today, and they're actually um, pretty simple projects. When I filmed the videos this morning, the clean recordings, they were, like, fast. So they're pretty easy, which normally I'm not real good at clean and simple and easy. Um, so, Chris, I'm using Minicam. Mini cam. I tried switcher in the past and I did not like it at all. It was real laggy and this doesn't seem to have so much lag. So we'll see. Um, we're we're going to cross our fingers. All right. Everybody patience and grace. <laughs> you know what I'm seeing? Not very many people are on. I wonder what that is about. Usually our numbers are bigger than this. So we'll see. We'll see. Okay. I'm going to switch you around. You ready? All right. Let's see if I can do it. I think it did it. I think I'm going to move this a little bit like this and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add in um, this little device right here and we have to click. I have to say it to myself. I have to go through. No, no, that's not the one we want. Stop. Hold on. Hold please. <laughs> so today I'm going to try to talk while I'm doing this. Let's see if I can do two things at once. Today we're going to um, do some Christmas stuff. You guys ready for Christmas? I know tomorrow is Halloween. Hello, tomorrow's Halloween. Oh, good. There I am. Okay, let me turn it. Tomorrow's Halloween, but it's time for Christmas. Um, hopefully your, your Halloween stuff is good to go and you are ready. Um, Thanksgiving, I don't know. I usually kind of skip over Thanksgiving. Do you guys want Thanksgiving stuff? I don't know. I don't know. I don't really do Thanksgiving stuff, but maybe we will. You tell me. Okay. 
Blurry. Thank you, Trisha. Patience and grace granted. I appreciate that. Okay, today, cherish the season. If you've never joined me for Facebook Friday before, um, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. I don't like how blurry it is. Hmm. All right. Well, we're going to go with it. Um, you got, I did get a picture up in the top left corner. You can see that, right? It needs to be a little, let's see, maybe a little bit closer because I stepped back. We're trying it all out today, you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're new. I promise my Facebook Friday usually isn't like this. Um, yes, Joanne, I did. New software can be crazy. Okay, so today we're moving on to Christmas. But before we start stamping, I got a lot of things I need to show you. If you're new, if you've never joined me for Facebook Friday before, I'm not usually this crazy and nervous. I'm super nervous today about this. Um, but I'm working this out. And I have some things to tell you. Uh, let's see, today we're going to make three projects with that, but we're going to come back around to that. I want to talk to you guys. Let's see, where do I want to start? How about we start with Paper Pumpkin? I put my Paper Pumpkin together yesterday, and the cards are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And it comes with uh, eight cards. This is this month, October. It comes with eight cards, and look how cute the envelopes are. They're lined. So it also comes always with a stamp set. And I love this font right here on this one, Merry Christmas and the Joy. I love it. And the wreath, there's the other one. So um, the whole reason I'm showing you this today is because I've got extras. I have not sold all of mine. Sometimes you guys snatch them up immediately and then other times I need to remind you that I have them. Look, they're sealed and they're ready to go. So if you need one, if you want one, I ship them everything $25 flat and I will ship it to you as soon as you pay me. And if you need something fun to do, here you go. I've got it. I will send it out to you, okay? So I've got four or five of those left. And if you want one, just message me or email me and uh, I will send it to you. So I've got to remember that you guys can see me. You know, sometimes when you flip the camera, I don't know. I don't think I'd do anything weird, but I might do something weird. I don't know. Okay, when I was practicing doing this, I have a little practice Facebook group that is just me and my husband on. <laughs> and I was practicing and I kept worrying that I was going live on the wrong thing and then people were seeing me be weird. But I think it was on the private group. I know it's very blurry. I don't like that at all. I don't know. I don't know, Nina. I know. We're, we're going to stick with it. And, and when I upload it, hopefully it will not be so blurry. Hopefully. Okay, so let me tell you about uh, Curvy Celebrations. Next week on the 3rd, that is Election Day, raise your hand if you want November 3rd to be over. Oh, my God, me, please. I'm sick of it. Sick of all the election stuff. I need it to be over. It's causing me anxiety. But this is going to give us something to look forward to. <laughs> we can turn the TV off and we can look at new stuff. Curvy Celebrations, this is an out-of-publication suite of products that Stampin' Up! is offering. Um, there are two stamp sets that coordinate with these dies. So here are the dies. This one is my favorite right here, this curvy with the little dots. Um, and then it's got all these others. It's actually going to be in the spring catalog. Um, in January. So this is the bundle, the quite curvy bundle. And you see the words curve and it's got these cute images and the birds are super cute too. So that is like a sneak peek coming in January. However, we also have an additional stamp set that matches with the dies for Christmas called Curvy Christmas. And this one will only be limited time through, um, what does it say? January 4th. Okay. So if you get the bundle, you can add on that stamp set so that you have two stamp sets to go with the dies, which we always love. So I do, I love these. This will be next Friday's Facebook Friday. I will be showing you um, all of that next Friday. But the best part of this whole suite, and I've given you guys a little sneak peek of this before. Um, Cynthia, it's a smaller screen. That is interesting. Huh. Huh. Hi, Becky. Yeah, first time catching me live, Becky. You have to know that today's weird. It's blurry. It's new software. It's strange. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Um, anyway, um, the other part of this is this classic Christmas 6x6 paper. And I love this kind of paper because it's monochromatic, all one color, and simple patterns. And the three colors are 
Cherry Cobbler, that's my favorite. Cherry Cobbler, and I keep wanting to call this Emerald Envy, and it is not. It is Shaded Spruce. That's one of our, our core colors. So Cherry Cobbler, Shaded Spruce, and Crumb Cake. Okay, so you've got this whole pack of paper with those three colors. Easy to use patterns, easy to use, monochromatic, simple, easy. We're gonna use these next week. These are also what I'm using in my card class um, for November. Many of you have emailed me asking where you can find this paper. Maybe you've bought the PDF or whatever, but the paper's not available yet. It won't be available till Tuesday in this out of publication um, suite. So this is coming next week. I thought about um, using it this week, but then I realized it won't even be available for ordering during the Facebook Friday ordering period. So I'm gonna hold it till next Friday and we'll play with it. I've got a boozy hot chocolate made with it for next week and a couple of cards to show you. So make sure you come back for that and look for it on Tuesday. Now I'm a, that's gonna help me transition into my card class. This is the card class for November. Um, it's a stamp a stack, which means you're gonna have a stamp of cards when you're done, a stack of cards when you're done. There are six cards and you're gonna get two each. Your class kit will include that a pack of that paper and um, these uh, two ribbons that, that I see I almost called it Emerald Envy again. Um, it is, I always have to like stop and think, shaded spruce and gold cord. Now I'm doubting myself. That's shaded spruce, right? Yeah, it is. And all the cards use warm and toasty. Super cute stamp set. So this class to go has several options. You can get it with the stamp set. You can get it without the stamp set. When you buy a class that includes the stamp set or the, the dies, I always subtract the cost of something else. So when you buy this stamp, this class with the stamp set, you're actually getting the ribbon for free. Um, so you can, that's option one. Option two is for those of you that don't need the stamp set, but you want the make and take kits. Um, that's option two. Option three, PDF only. It's in my PDF store right now. It's uh, immediately emailed to you. If it's not, email me and I will resend it. Um, it does, right, Carla? Emerald Envy. And I don't even remember Emerald Envy. I think that was an in color. I don't, I don't know why I keep wanting to call it that. Um, what else I can tell you? Oh, option four is for my downline. Of course, they get the make and takes at cost. Now, you guys, my retreat to go. I don't know if you guys can see back there. I've already started cutting for my retreat to go. Let me go. Oh, let me transition. Hold on. Let's see. Okay. See? Oh, no, you can't really see. Down there, I've already started cutting for my retreat because it's sold out. It sold out in like two days and you guys were mad. I'm getting lots of emails. I'm sorry about that, but that's the way it goes, okay? Um, let's see if I can mess with this a little bit. I don't like that angle. <laughs> that's not a very flattering angle inside of my face. I'm gonna have to move that camera this way a little bit more. Um, anyhow, the retreat to go is sold out, but you can still get the PDF. If you didn't get the kit, you can get the PDF. It's also available in my PDF store. All of my classes and events have a PDF only option. All right, the second class for November is my Christmas treats class. That's this class right here. It features the In the Pines bundle. You can get it with the bundle or without the bundle, just like the other class. It's gonna include a quarter pack designer series paper, um, a bolt of the real red braided linen braided trim, and then the holiday rhinestones. So this is six treats. That was cards, this is treats, depending on what you want. You may want both. If you want both, they'll actually ship together. And I need to clarify on that video, I said said it weird. Um, it's $8 shipping to ship a class. I use flat rate priority mail, mail envelopes, it's $8. I can fit both classes in that, that mailer for $8. So if you buy both, you're only gonna pay that shipping one time. And it's included in the cost when you register. Um, some of you were asking me if I was going to bill you for the shipping. No, no, it's already wrapped up all in there. If, um, the only way, the only way shipping is not included is if you choose porch pickup. And I don't think I even listed that as an option anymore because I have so few of those. Um, so it's already included in that cost. It has the shipping added into it. Okay. So there's that. Um, look, it's all jacked up now because I've had something sitting on top of it. But anyway, six projects, six 3Ds if you love 3Ds. By the way, today I sent all of my Halloween 3D projects to school with the kids. 
They were super excited. Well, my little one was excited. Um, you know, it's her first year of middle school. She was super excited to take them and give them to her teachers. The eighth grader was like, no, thank you. <laughs> she did take two um, and one for a friend. So whew, all my Halloween 3Ds are gone, out the door. Who knows if the teachers will trust me that, the, that I don't have the virus on there. They may throw them in the trash, but whatever, I sent them on. <laughs> And hopefully they'll enjoy them. Okay, the last event I want to tell you about is my Poinsettia Petals Club Create. Okay, Club Create is a subscription, kind of like Paper Pumpkin. PayPal uh, charges you every month at the same time. You can cancel at any time. That sounded weird. You can cancel at any time. Anytime. If you wanted to just sign up for Poinsettia Petals, sign up and then you can cancel. That's totally fine. But if you stay in for six months, you're going to get $25 in product, um, a product credit to spend as a thank you, kind of like a host club. So every month I choose a different bundle or stamp set and I do five projects with it. And it's always $39 and you um, get $20 in product and five make and takes and that includes shipping. It's a pretty good deal. Um, you also get a PDF and a video. This month's video was, or maybe it was, I've already, <laughs> I've already filmed December's video. Maybe it was that one. It was really long. It was like 45 minutes. Um, but um, anyhow, if you won't like the poinsettia petals, um, this is kind of a technique class this time. I'm going to talk to you about watercoloring, about using Stampin' Blends, um, masking, uh, paper piecing. It's all fun. It's just lots of techniques. So if you like techniques and you like the poinsettia petals here is the class for you it's club create um you can click on the top of my blog club create and it'll talk to you it'll tell you all the details and how you can subscribe okay um also all of the things that i'm telling you right now you guys look i was going to hold it up but i forgot you can see me down here today's pdf here's the link for the retreat to go pdf Here's the link for the In the Pines class to go information, Warm and Toasty class to go information, and Poinsettia Club Create information. So pinkbuckroo.com, under the last photo, you'll find this PDF, and it's free. My Facebook Friday PDFs are free. Okay, let's move that out of the way. I'm getting to the bottom of the pile. I'm almost there, almost there. Um, okay, you know what? All we have left is prizes. So last week I had two Have a Hoot bundles, Ruth Duvall, Ruth, I believe I have your mailing address, and Denise Foreman. I don't think I have yours, Denise. So you guys message me. Denise, Ruth, if you see this, message me. If not, I probably have it and I'll just send it to you. Um, but congratulations, ladies. This is such a fun little bundle, and I will get it to you in the mail as soon as I hear from you. This week's prizes, I've got two different bundles. Celebration tidings. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out my orientation here. Working on new software, if you've just joined us, please forgive me. Little things are a little weird here. Have a little grace for me, please. Anyways, two bundles. Um, that I'm giving away next week. Autumn Goodness, man, I love this bundle. I hope they carry that over to the annual catalog. It's so good. And then Celebration Tidings, which is another one that I've been using the heck out of. Um, so if you would like uh, a chance at winning one of these, all you have to do is share on Facebook and you'll be entered into next week's drawing. Okay, we did it. Here we are, Facebook Friday. If you've never joined me for Facebook Friday before, I do, I usually pick one product, like a stamp set or a bundle. This week, it is a bundle. We're doing Cherish the Season. Um, and I designed three projects with it. And this is kind of like a class. So if you were local to me, you would come to my class and you would make these three products and they are three projects and they would be free with your order. That's how I ran my local classes. They were always free with an order. So that's how this runs too. I will mail you these make and takes for free with a minimum $35 order by Monday at midnight. Did you guys hear that? That was weird. I don't know what that sound was. Oh, maybe it was my, <laughs> sounded like a cat or something. I'm home alone today, which is glorious. But there's all these trucks out here. On the other side of me is um, a window. And there's all these trucks. My neighbor's getting a pool. Started like in April. It's taking forever. But today's the last day. And there's like a ton of trucks. So maybe that was what it was. 
loud, 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 and my dogs are bark, bark, bark. But anyway, that was weird. That spooked me. $35 order minimum by Monday at midnight using this host code right here. Let's move it down and let's tape it down so I don't move it. Um, and this is what they look like. They come, I mail them for free. They're free. Um, it's as my thank you for your order. And they have all everything that you need except for the stamps and dies. You'll need those. I don't stamp any images and I don't die cut anything that's included in the bundle that I'm featuring. So you'll need the stamps and dies and ink and adhesive. Um, I always make you a little thank you note with whatever I was featuring. Here's last week's. I had just enough test tubes to send these out to everybody who ordered. Um, so if you like today's um, if you like today's projects, just make sure your order is in Monday by midnight. And um, I will mail them to you next week for free. Let's see, there was something else I was going to tell you about that. And I don't remember what it was. Okay, anyways, hello everybody. Um, it did, Jill, sound a little bit like a Facebook Messenger notification, didn't it? I don't know what it was. It was weird. Okay, so let's get started on this. I'm still like not liking the glitchiness. I don't know why it would be doing that. Um, not necessarily glitchy, but it's like blurry. And I have, just so you guys know, I have a device here. I have a device here. I have a device over there and I have a device over there. <laughs> it's a lot. So that could be part of it. Maybe, well, that's not really more than if my kids were here. I don't know. I'll find out. We'll try again next week. All right, let's get started. So where should we start? Let's start with this card. And I have my trays down here on the floor today because I don't have enough room on my table. We're going to start with a pretty simple card. The stamp set is great. I know a lot of people have sentimental feelings for Christmas bells. There's a lot of reasons for that. I just love them and I love the dies. The stamp set is great. It complements the dies really well, but the dies are my favorite part. I'm going to be honest. I know what I was going to tell you. If you want the make and takes, I saw some of you say today on Facebook, you already have this bundle. If you want the make and takes, um, no problem. You can order whatever you want. You don't have to order the bundle. Whoops. Uh oh, sorry, Pops. Are you okay? Just drop the tape dispenser on her. She's asleep. Um, if you already have the bundle, you can order whatever you want. You don't have to order this bundle. It could be envelopes, adhesive, whatever you want. As long as it's $35, I'll send you the make and takes for free. Okay, so I love the dies. We're going to use the die. Of course, I immediately went to the gold hoop, like a wreath. We've used the gold hoop now, I think, three or four times. They're on... Back order? Are they on back order or they're on low inventory right now? I just ordered a whole bunch of them for my retreat projects. Um, I can't remember. They're either on low inventory or back order. But anyway, you can still get them. All right, so we're going to start. Let's put our card together first. Um, I am using the 12 tidings. Okay, hold on. Things are buried. Things are just out of whack. I can't reach my adhesive. And y'all are probably looking at my forehead and it's weird. Okay. <laughs> I am bringing back the 12 Tidings Designer Series, paper, Designer Series paper. Do you guys remember this? This was in the holiday catalog last year. One side is garden green, one side is real red. Several of the patterns are this 12. Um, one of them is my favorite beloved buffalo check and one is striped. It's great paper. Jennifer, I didn't kick the dog, I dropped the tape on the dog. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Peps. She seems okay. I don't know. Um, and I don't think it fell on her. I think it fell on her bed that's right there next to the table. Anyhow, this is great paper. The, the thing that I like about this paper is that the patterns are so similar that you can interchange. You know, like if you were going to make a bunch of this card and you used all the different patterns in there, it would be very similar and it would be cute. Okay, so garden green card base, a piece of designer series paper that is four by five and a fourth. Um, and then we're going to take van very vanilla. And the reason I'm using very vanilla is because this paper is not white. It's very vanilla. Um, I use whisper white majority of the time, unless the paper that I'm using has very vanilla. And then I'm going to, of course, use very vanilla. Now this little sentiment says, may you cherish the wonder of the season now and throughout the year. 
That is a good saying. Is Terry, is my friend Terry here? Terry um, is my local downline. She is my longest standing downline. She's at the very top of my downline list. And she and I are funny um, because we look at different things when we look in the catalog. She looks at the sentiments. I never look at the sentiments. I only look at the images. So Terry likes the sentiments and I always think of her when I go to use a stamp set and I say, oh, look at that sentiment. I never even have read that before. Okay, now we're gonna cut out a couple of things. We're gonna cut out the bell. I'm gonna use, there's four bells, um, large, medium, small, and smallest. I'm gonna use that small one right there, okay? And there's a little, little something something on it. Um, I'm also going to use the little sprigs and I'm going to cut out two of each. All right. So where did I hide my machine? Here it is. Let's get everything out of the way. All right. We are going to put these on here together and I'm using um, the brushed metallic cardstock. We love the brushed metallic cardstock. It's shiny, but not like super shiny. I don't know. It's kind of, well, I wouldn't even say distressed. I mean, I guess they call it brushed. It's brushed and it's not super shiny. So I, I really like it. All right. So we've got two of those and we'll take our little bell off and we'll run that through one more time. This gold hoop that I have here it looks like it's bent. I don't know what I did to make it bend. I have to I have to look at it that's okay it could still be used it'll just be an oval leaf. <laughs> all right so we'll get those out and I had here it is my take your pick tool found it there we go whoops that just came right out didn't it I love when that happens all right I'm just put that out I'm gonna put this back over here so I don't lose it and we'll get all of our little pieces and our glue dots. Okay, so let's look. Does that look bent to you guys? It kind of looks, yeah. What the heck? I don't know. How does that happen? I have no idea. All right, I'm gonna take a couple of glue dots and we're gonna attach it right here. So my daughter, my youngest daughter's birthday is on November 3rd. That's election day. She was born the day Obama was elected. It was election day when she was born. And now here we are again with an election day. And here in San Antonio, they have made election day a school holiday this year because of COVID. They don't want a whole bunch of people in the building. So she's so excited that she gets to have her birthday off. And I forgot, cause I counted that as a work day. So I'm like a little frantic. I told her this morning, um, I might need to work that day a little bit, but we could go do something fun. But I mean, what can we even do? I don't know. We'll have to think of something. She wants to go. We have a place here called Magic Time Machine. Is Magic Time Machine a chain? Or is that just a local weirdo? <laughs> it's super weird. My San Antonio people, people here, Nathan, I saw you. You know Magic Time Machine. It's this super weird restaurant where all the um, all the waiters dress up in character. I went there for my eighth birthday. I mean, it's old, um, but it's so fun for kids. Um, they have a salad bar in like a car. <laughs> in the middle of the restaurant and it is um it's really fun terry i just saw your question can you cut two pieces of cardstock at the same time with the dies i haven't tried it but i doubt it um these are um i don't know we'll try it in a minute i'll let you know but i i my guess is no my guess is would be no so anyway, we're probably gonna go to Magic Time Machine. We went last year and it has gotten so weird. I mean, there's like layers of dust. It's one of those restaurants that's like wall-to-wall -wall junk, like weird memorabilia and stuff. And, and people joke that the dust, the layers of dust go back to the 80s. It's just, it's bizarre. Um, but that, if that's what she wants to do, that's what she'll do. Yes, Amy, it's fun. It's one of those restaurants where they like sing and they come and they they brought her um, a special drink that had dry ice in it. 
And so it was all, you know, like smoking. And this was last year. So, of course, she wants to go back. Nathan, have you been to um, Magic Time Machine? I'm sure you have. You're from San Antonio. Okay, here's, remember I told you guys a week or two ago when I was using the black and white trim from the Playful Pets um, ribbon and trim combo pack? And I had, I used a ton of the black and white, but I hadn't used much of the red and white. So now here we go. We're going to use the red and white. It's the best ribbon in the catalog. Both of them are so good. This one is real light and it um, makes a, a nice bow. It's not bulky. Um, it's good. All right, so now we're gonna adhere this onto a piece of garden green. This vanilla is three by four, and the garden green is three and an eighth by four and an eighth. All right, many moons ago, Nathan, when you were a kid probably, huh? I remember going as a teenager before the homecoming dance. Yeah, we thought we were so awesome and cool going all the way down there in our own car. And now I'm like, oh, pick something else, pick something else. <laughs> I don't want to go. All right, and we're just going to put that on there with dimensionals. And look, done. That's a really pretty simple card, don't you think? And like Terry was asking, we'll, we'll figure out. If you could cut two at the same time, yeah, that would make it even faster. Um, probably not the little sprigs. Those probably you couldn't. I don't know. We'll see. We'll play around with it. Okay, card number one is done. So let me move all of that out of the way. And let's see here, what do I need? I'm gonna move that right there. See, now you guys can see all my behind the scenes stuff where I'm like throwing stuff on the floor and... <laughs> all right, now, next, we're gonna make another card. And this card is actually, I'm gonna show you a technique, um, how to emboss with your dies. And here's a funny thing, okay? Let me get the catalog. So this technique that I'm gonna show you has been around for a while. Um, the way that you can, that you can, um, let's see, I'm gonna do that. The way that you can emboss with your dies. It's been around for a while. So last night when I was typing up the, the sheet, um, the supply sheet, I went to look for the silicone mat in, the silicone, what's it called? The silicone craft sheet in the catalog. And I realized that in our big shot, or no, our cut and emboss machine, <laughs> it's not the big shot, it's the cut and emboss machine. On our cut and emboss machine page, page 172, right down here, there are these impression mats. We had impression mats a long time ago to go with that other machine, um, and I never used them. So I was reading on here and it says, your favorite dies can do more when paired with the impression mats. Use with dies that have decorative ejection holes for detail embossing or use with cutting dies to emboss instead of cut. And I had not even seen that in the catalog. You know, I, you can look at this catalog a hundred times and still not see everything. But anyhow, they're not available yet. I typed them in and they're not available yet. So when they become available, that'll make doing this technique easier. So what I'm gonna show you is the workaround, okay? Um, it is kind of the old school method of doing things. And what we're gonna do, I don't know if you guys can see on the background here, I've taken the Bell's dies and embossed with them, okay? Um, so Carla says, I found that when I try to cut two at the same time, the bottom image isn't as clear. Carla, that's good information. Did it cut the bell out? Um, so, so what these dies do when uh, you cut them, like this one, um, these little things are embossed. The little details on them. These on the big one, they actually cut. Um, but Carla's saying when you try to do two at once, you kind of lose some of that image on the second one, which makes sense. Um, cause that second one's never quite as crisp. Um, Sarah, do the old ones work? Do the old ones what? The old ones, tell me. Okay, we're going to first, we're going to do that embossing first. So let's bring over the cut and emboss machine. <laughs> and your cut and emboss machine comes with several plates. It comes with number one, number two, and then two of the number threes. And you're going to take number two away. You don't need number two. 
Okay, so put two there, put your clear plate, and then get your silicone craft sheet. And your silicone craft sheet um, is great for your hot glue gun. It's great for mixing ink, um, re-inker, all kinds of messy stuff. Because then when it dries, you can peel it off, and you can also just wash it. It's just like, um, you know, a silicone mat. Um, but if it's gunky, like I have several of them, and some of them are gross. So I have this one reserved for just like... Um, mirror stamping on my stamparatus and for this technique. So you're gonna put that down on top of the clear plate and then you're gonna get your piece of cardstock and this is just a four by five and a fourth piece of crumb cake. And I'm gonna take these bells and I'm just gonna kind of put them in a, in a random pattern, not, you know, not necessarily lines. And then I'm gonna put that clear plate on top and I'm gonna roll it through. It feels like it's doing nothing. It feels like it's doing absolutely nothing, but it is. So look, can you guys see? Oh, I, I think it's fun. It's kind of just like a magical, like, oh, look what I did. And now you're gonna look at all your dies in a different way. You can use them in a totally different way. And then when that plate comes out and it's available, so I think it's only 10 bucks, you'll have that and you won't have to worry about keeping your silicone craft sheet clean. All right, so now, anyhow, on the supply list, I listed the silicone craft sheet if you need one. They're great, I use them a lot. The old embossing mat, Sarah, I don't know, probably, because it's, it's the same size. Um, the sandwiches are different. Um, you know, how, what plates and shims and all that, but probably, yeah, I would think that they would fit. I don't have them anymore, but I am pretty certain that, oh, you know what? We need this. I'm pretty certain that, yes, that you could do that. Okay, before we take that away, let's put number two back on here like this. And we're going to take our stitched rectangle die. This is the largest one. Those, okay. You guys, this little confetti right here keeps showing up and I have them all over my office because I'm sending my downline something this weekend for, we have um, an event, an online event with Stampin' Up! next weekend. And so I'm sending them something and I was using confetti. So now, of course, you know what happens. It's glitter and confetti. There, it's everywhere. Everywhere. Okay, so we've got that. Hopefully I got it on there correctly. Very nice. While we have the cut and emboss machine, I'm going to cut out, let me put all of these back here. I'm gonna cut one out now from our red foil. It's beautiful red foil. And when I, after I cut this, I'm gonna flip it over hopefully and keep all the little pieces in there because I don't want them to come out. Those pieces on this die come out and, and I don't like that, I don't want that, I want it to stay solid. So I'm gonna carefully flip it over like this and when I was making my clean recording video today, I was not having very good luck. Uh-oh, okay, hold on. You know what, I'm not even gonna set it down, watch. I'm just gonna take dimensionals. See how all the pieces are still in there? And I'm gonna set dimensionals. You can use tape, you can use whatever, but because I'm gonna put this on with a dimensional, anyhow, I'm just gonna lay dimensionals right there. All right, all right. And I probably needed to get closer to that edge because the little dots will come out too. Oh, weird, that dimensional was dirty and gross and it was not sticky at all. Okay. Right there. Okay. Mm, you know, let's just add another one. Cause I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do that very well. Okay. So see now all the little things will stay in. Okay. So now we've done that. I laugh because I have a fourth project for you guys, which will be coming on Monday and it involves doing the same thing. And during the video, I was like a disaster. Like the pieces were flying everywhere. I did not do a good job of keeping them laying in the die. 
And I, it was like the fifth video of the day, so I decided to roll with it and you'll laugh if you watch the video because it was like crazy, doing surgery on the dies. Okay, so over here on the embossed piece, I'm just gonna take my Wink of Stella and add just a little bit to those, um, like the holly leaves and the little boughs, just to give it a little something something so that it just doesn't totally blend in. It's very light and subtle, which is the point, but the Wink of Stella will kind of make it pop a little bit. All right, now I brought over a minute ago before I started my foam adhesive sheets. Let's cut two of them. The big cement truck is leaving the cul-de-sac. I laughed with my neighbor. I texted her this morning and I said, I hope your pool's heated because <laughs> it's cold. Finally, the pool's done and it's cold. She said, well, we'll warm it with the hot tub water. <laughs> and I know her kids and mine are very excited and I'm sure they will swim no matter what. All right, so now I'm gonna peel off these dimensionals and I'm gonna adhere this, <laughs> I was kind of overkill with those dimensionals, a strip, a foam adhes adhesive strip would be good right there. That way we would only need one, but I would that would require advanced planning on my part and I did do that. All right, so I'm gonna um, attach that to a white stitched square and then we'll attach it to a Crumb cake stitched square. These are the stitched shape dies, the, the largest and the second largest. I wanted to keep this card pretty neutral because I wanted the bell, the red shiny bell to just pop off and, you know, stand out. All right, guess what? More dimensionals. Shocker, I know. I know, I love dimensionals. All right, this stamp, I mean, this card will need extra postage. So if you don't want to do extra postage, you can just, you can put it all flat. All right, now again, sticking with that neutral theme, I've got the braided trim, the linen, braided linen trim, and we're gonna make a bow, and we are going to adhere it with a glue dot. And take the pick tool, it's right here right there cut those and then on the inside oh man i got a mess on the inside let me move all this over here we're going to do a little bit of stamping with that stamp set um we're going to stamp the bells which i believe are on <clears throat> the other tray aren't they i'm not seeing them yeah they are right here okay Smoky Slate, and I thought this morning, why didn't I do this in Crumb Cake? But I think I was going Smoky Slate like uh, silver bells, you know, like bells are metallic. So that's what I did. All right, and then we're gonna stamp the Merry Christmas, the, the um, <laughs> Nathan, um, Dimensionals and Week of Stella, yes. Agreed, agreed, my friend. All right, Merry Christmas. Oh, Christmas. Boy, you know, as soon as Halloween is over, it's all Christmas, all day, every day. That's what happens. I've already seen some Christmas ads. And there we go. All right, another card with that cute little bell. I love those dies. They are so great. That foil is the, it's called red and green foil. It's in the holiday catalog you're looking for it. Alrighty, let's do one more. Let me clean up my mess. Oh, I've got dyes flying around. Am I missing one? I feel like I'm missing. Maybe not. Okay, I don't need that. I don't need that. I do need that. Trash, dimensionals, wink of Stella. Do you guys clean up between projects? When you do a project, do you, and you're done, do you clean up? before you move on to the next one? I don't always, but I do sometimes. I don't always, but I do sometimes. I, I get to the point where I can't be creative anymore. You know, I'm like, I feel, you know, so sometimes I have to stop and clean. So, 
Debbie says, some stores are already posting and honoring Black Friday ads. Debbie, I heard that. Yes. So Black Friday this year is going to be not Black Friday. I don't know. How do you guys feel about that? Um, I get it. But I love Black Friday. I love that, like, rush, get up early. I haven't done much of that. Well, yeah, I guess I have. But we used to get up super early and go to Target and the mall. And I mean, you can get really good deals on Black Friday. <sighs> Another thing COVID has taken from us. But I know it's good the way that they're doing it. It is good. That way you don't have to do those things. But I kind of like the rush. Oh, well. Okay, one more. Of course, we're going to have a treat package this time. And I saw these at Walmart. Ferrero Rocher. These remind me of my grandmother. She always had these. And there's another one. I can't remember what it was called. But fancy candies. Um, this is a little, I don't know, this just feels fancier than like a Hershey's or a Reese's. It feels, I don't know, fancy. So these would be like for your fancy friends, or for your teachers. Um, Ferrero Rocher, it's a little three pack. I, like I said, I believe I got them at Walmart. I think you can get them anywhere. Um, but I also linked it on Amazon if, in case you don't want to go anywhere, you can find them on Amazon. All right, so we're going to make a box that fits it perfectly. And let me get my Simply Scored. I noticed on my clean recording that it doesn't look like, it looks like the box is too big. Let me open it and show you guys. When you open it, it looks from afar like the, it's too, the box is too big, but it's not. There's so much of that plastic in there. See, it does go end to end. I noticed when I was editing the clean recording today that it looked like that it just totally didn't fit, but it does. All right, so now I haven't even, we haven't even used our, we haven't even used our PDF today. Remember, this is over at pinkbuckaroo.com. On the last page, you know, it's funny. Sometimes I don't have enough room for all the stuff that I used, and then sometimes I hardly fill the page. This time I didn't use very much. It's so funny. Anyhow, the measurements are right here. These are the measurements that you're going to need, okay? So it is seven inches by seven and three fourths. This is, and I said very vanilla, didn't I? Huh. I was wondering why I had cut very vanilla. It's whisper white. It is whisper white thick, not very vanilla thick. Um, because this is the paper that I'm using. What's this paper called? Wonder of the Season. It's that specialty paper. It's not vanilla, it's white. Hmm. So don't use very vanilla thick, use whisper white thick. Okay, on the short side, we're gonna score at one and a fourth, three and a fourth, four and a half, and six and a half. Turn it and on the long side, one and a fourth, and six and a half. Teresa says, I never shop on Thanksgiving. I wait until Friday morning. Thanksgiving for family. So I see you guys are talking about that. I, I get that. I totally get that. But I get so bored on Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> I loved going out late on Thanksgiving Day. My daughters, we would go to Target. My mom, we always go to Target. But, but I get it. You're right. I mean, you're right. It should be just like a family day. But none of that will be... Um, None of that will be happening this year. They say that the online shopping this year is going to just be crazy. Like everybody's going to be doing a ton of online shopping. So you should be shopping early because of, what is the Today Show calling it? Shipmageddon? Because the shipping is going to be a nightmare. I've already seen things starting to slow down again with shipping. You know, during the height of the virus, things were taking forever. Um, but I've already noticed in the last couple of weeks, things are starting to slow down again. All right, so take your bone folder and burnish. Stampin' Up! this year is going to have a one-day sale. Only a one-day sale. In the past, they have done multi-day sales. This year, it's a one-day sale. Um, I am planning to do some things the last week of November, the first week of December, kind of my own Black Friday specials. Well, maybe we shouldn't call them Black Friday. 12 days of Christmas specials, so be on the lookout for that. Um... That's coming. I haven't worked it all out yet in my mind, so I can't tell you all the details yet. <laughs> and uh, just know it's coming. Okay, so here we go. We've got this piece. Down here we've got this long and skinny tab. We're gonna cut off 
those corners and we're gonna cut that long skinny tab at an angle. All right, like that. Then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna cut all the score lines. And on the square tabs, we're gonna cut those at an angle. And then we're gonna do the same thing, same thing on the other side. If you want to come back and make this project and you don't wanna hear all my chit chat, there are clean recordings linked on today's blog post under each, each project. You can click it, it'll take you to my YouTube channel where I have already uploaded them. That way it'll be there. You don't have to, you know, go forever and look, where was that? What did she say? Okay, take a look at it. Here's what it looks like now. Here's the long and skinny tab. These two tabs right here, we're gonna make skinny like this one. Okay, so snip and snip and we're gonna cut those corners off too. This is going to give us kind of a smooth um, smooth closure. Uh, there won't be any gaps when we close our lid. All right, so that's what it looks like. I'm gonna take Stamp and Seal Plus and I'm going to put it on all four of my tabs on the outside, okay? Then I'm gonna fold them in and line them up with the edge of the rectangle tabs. All right, like that. And ta-da, it fits, see? If I had made it smaller, then that would have been kind of smushed and it wouldn't have fit right. So, there you go. All right, so fold these in like that and there is your little box. Okay, now again, here's this paper. And you know, I haven't done hardly anything with this paper. It's called Wonder of the Season. One side is foil, the other side is not. And it's all like newspaper, book print. Look, Mrs. Claus's cheese fondue, that's cute. Um, but you can really, you know, use, again, it's similar, all the pieces are so similar that you could interchange them if you were, creating a big project. I like these, where it's just all the type. I wonder what it says. It's, oh, something about Santa Claus. So anyway, that's specialty paper. Anytime our paper is foiled like that, has a shiny foil, then it's called specialty paper. All right, we're gonna put that there on top. And let's grab the ribbon. I am using this ribbon from the I can't remember the name. Wonder of the Season Ribbon. That doesn't sound right. Is that right with this ribbon? This is the come. Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it is. I used it with the Coming Home. I don't know. I think that's right. Wonder of the Season. It's two colors. Um, it's got Poppy Parade, and I believe the other one is Old Olive. And they've got a gold edge on them. So it goes really well with this paper. So yeah, it does. That makes sense. Wonder of the season, I don't know what I was thinking. All right, so I've got that. Now we're gonna make a little tag. Um, if I can find my pieces of paper, where did they go? Oh goodness, 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 hold please. What the heck, where did it go? Oh, here it is, buried. All right, I've already cut out a stitched label. This stitched label, I need to get my, um, my chamois. This stitch label is from the Tasteful Label Dies. I think I use the Tasteful Label Dies on every project. I love them so much. And they cut really well through two layers of cardstock. Trimming the town, Sarah, is that what those that ribbon is? Did I list it wrong? Let's see. Trimming the town is what I thought it was in my mind, but then I was doubting myself. Hold on, yep, I messed it up. Wonder of the season, what did I, I did say, oh no, no, no. Okay, hello, I'm using two different ribbons. This gold cord is Wonder of the Season ribbon, right, okay, hello. And the Poppy Parade ribbon is, well, let's look in the back. I love this little index in the back. 
it is all the trimmings. I have it right on there. I just didn't read it correctly, which is page 25, which is the coming home bundle, right? Yeah. Okay, that's what I used in Clip Create last month. I don't know why I was getting confused with that, but it, it is in the catalog with that, but it goes great with this paper. I guess it's not red, so if you use the red side, it wouldn't. All right, so I'm gonna stamp these so that they, the little loop is up here at the, the top of the tag, and you can't see it because I stamped it in Versamark. And I'm gonna emboss it with gold embossing powder. Those little Ferrero Rocher, I meant to say this earlier. Oh, did I just mess that up? Okay. Those little Ferrero Rocher, um, they remind me of little bells. That's what I thought of when I saw them immediately. I thought those will be great with our, ah, what's going on here? Those would be great with our little bell dies. Because they look like little bells, don't you think? Well, all the pool guys are leaving. I guess the pool is done. My daughter will be so excited. That's her her little best friend. There's two boys that live there. They've grown up together. Those are her little besties. And uh, they have been so excited. This year, our neighborhood pool was closed because of COVID. And so they didn't get to swim this summer. And they were just counting the days for their pool to be done. And it just took forever. Ugh. Okay, now this stamp set has a great to and from stamp. The reason why I think it's great is because a lot of times when you have a to and from stamp, you have to leave room over here to write the name. But this one, you've got room to write underneath. I think that's a great little feature because <laughs> then you don't have to leave all this space. Um, so it's got space for the names above or below each each of the little words. Okay, so now we've got that done. We're going to punch. I've got too much stuff on this table. I've got to figure this out. Um, we're going to punch a hole here. And we're going to get that gold cord, which is the Wonder of the Seasons ribbon combo pack. Yeah, um, sorry, the picture is pixelated. I don't know why. I'm using a new software, working the kinks out. We, I will work on it. It is very pixelated on my end too. I don't like it at all. So hopefully when we upload, hopefully, oh, I don't know. I'll have to ask my friend Ange. Okay, now the little bells. Let's add a little bell, yes. Let's see, would a cherry cobbler one do? I don't know, those look like cherry cobbler, don't they? We'll do a gold one and we're gonna Feed that through there and tie that on, and it's so cute. All right, tie it on with a gold cord and done. I love this. It's pretty simple, I think. Well, I guess embossing isn't considered simple, but I love it. What do you guys think? So cute with that little bell there. You could even, if you didn't have those, you could even use the tiny baby die, the little baby bell like that, or the bigger one would work too, maybe. Oh yeah, that would be cute. Hmm, so cute. All right, you guys, there you go. Now, we were gonna try something before you guys leave. We were gonna try cutting through two layers. Let's test it and see. Um, What should I use, regular cardstock? <clears throat> or foil. Let's do regular cardstock. Let me get something out of my scrap bin here and we will try this because I am always wondering that too. I do a lot of mass die cutting. Um, so in my mind, I'm always like, that's one of the first things I think of. Is that going to cut through two layers? Let's see. Carla said she had done it. Yep. It's cut. It cuts through. Oh, okay. Let's see, this one has the little doodads that come out, so I don't know. See how it cut, they come out? I don't like that. I don't know why they did that. But on the second one, so it did cut it out, and look, so if you wanted to keep the little doodads in, the second one totally stays in. You No need to do surgery on your paper. Totally stays in. 
Um, and it is less detailed, like Carla said. You can see it's less, the cut, um, the emboss line's less deep. Interesting. So you could do them in different colors and then layer them. Like you could put green on the bottom and then silver on the top. And then you could adhere like that. And the green would show through. Now you'd have to color the little dots or put jewels on them to make them colored. Ooh, I want to try that now. That's, that sounds fun. Okay, so hopefully... Who was it, Teresa, that was asking? Hopefully she's still here. And you saw that little experiment. All right, we survived with a blurry screen the whole time and the weird software that I have yet to get worked out. And we made three projects, three Cherish the Season projects. Um, many of you have this bundle already. Um, if you don't, it is listed on your PDF. Any orders between now and Monday at midnight um, will get these make and takes for free. Again, you don't have to order the bundle. You can order anything you want. But you guys, the host code's very important. If your order is under $150, please use that host code. Um, I'm, we, we're having trouble with a host code. Many of you aren't using it and then I assume you don't want the projects because some people don't and it's totally fine but then you'll email me like two weeks later and say I never got the projects and then I'll say you didn't use the host code and then you say I think I did and it's just weird so make sure you you in the little bottom screen of your shopping cart the bottom you hit that little plus sign and enter the host code and when you hit it it should like confirm that you'll see it there if you forget, which is totally normal, I do it because it's hard to remember to do that, just email me, but email me before Monday at midnight because Tuesday morning I cut however many orders I have, okay? Um, so let me know before Monday at midnight, please. Okay, um, I was gonna show you one more thing. On Monday, I will have another project over on my blog using the Cherish the Season, these cute little Ghirardelli. Um, <clears throat> pouches that that uh, <laughs> will have a video <laughs> that probably should be considered a blooper video, but I just went with it. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you get to do something fun tomorrow for Halloween. And um, the next time I see you, the election will be over. Thank goodness. Well, hopefully, we can move on. <laughs> um, and you know, get on with things. You guys, thank you very, very much for joining me and I will see you next Friday. All right. Thanks everybody. Bye.